the 1883 eruption of Krakatau volcano in what is now Indonesia, erupted uh, 20 cubic kilometres of magma. One cubic kilometre would bury the whole of Greater London to a depth of about 60 centimetres. It triggered really um, big tsunamis, these, these tidal waves that volcanoes could cause, and it killed about 36,000 people local to the volcano. The interesting thing was, this is the first global news event that we had in terms of volcanoes, because this was the first major eruption after the undersea telegraph cables had been laid. So this meant that information could flow around our planet basically at the speed of electrical signals, rather than waiting for letters to get from, uh, from A to B on boats and things like that. It was also the age of empire, it was the age of, sort of gentlemen's clubs around the planet, so people had barometers on their, their mantelpieces in these clubs and you could see the pressure wave coming through on the barometers that were designed for weather. And they actually watched it, the shock wave travel around the Earth seven times on these, uh, when they, they pulled all these records together. This really awoke, awoke scientists, awoke the world to the fact that volcanoes could actually have a global reach in terms of their ability to interact with our environment.